In this segment, I kind of, we kind of want to reintroduce or talk about some things that maybe you've gotten stuck in the closet or thrown off to the side as uh, things that we don't use anymore. But uh, there are times where having these devices, although older as they may be, uh, can be very practical and also helpful, particularly if you are a department that operates in, with a low manpower or reduced staffing type situation where you might be operating one and two on an engine company 24 seven. So <clears throat> occasionally these devi devices like these hose clamps pictured here can assist us in, or help to replace uh, a third man, so to speak, or a fourth man, if, depending on what your numbers are. Uh, <clears throat> the first we have the, the Herbert hose clamp. This is, a, this is a hose clamp that is a screw down style hose clamp it's really designed to be utilized with LDH hose. You can see it's got a nice wide belly on it. <clears throat> Basic operation of the hose clamp are you just open the lever and the, the, cl the clamp itself will half shell right open. You can slide the hose in, close the clamp, you get the audible click, and then you just simply righty tighty, lefty loosey, you screw the jacket or the, the clamp down on top of the hose line, allowing whoever that firefighter is at the hydrant to charge that hose line and that pump operator to come around the vehicle and then once he, can, he makes that connection or breaks that connection and makes his sub connection into the steamer or his intake, he can then go over and slowly open that hose clamp allowing water to, to flow. The, all the while, our hydrant man has charged the hydrant come up and now he can rejoin the attack crew on the interior of the building if that's what needs to happen.
the, the other style uses a, 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 a different style action. It's still a locking hose clamp. This is an Akron brass style uh, clamping uh, hose clamp. And as you can see, essentially, if you look right here, where the hose goes through the two jaws, <clears throat> as we press down, we, that clamp is going to lock into place. A couple of safety points about this particular clamp in general. When, when pressure has been applied or when you are trying to clamp off a line that is pressurized, one thing is very important. With this, it's got a little, <clears throat> it's got a little safety latch on the underside of it. So we like to use what's called the stiff arm technique. Basically, your, your arm here, arm here. What you don't want to be doing is leaning over top of like this. Try to keep your head and chin out of way. Apply pressure in the downward motion. You're going to reach down, depress the latch, allowing you to release that pressure, and you want to take that pressure off very slowly. The problem with pressurized lines, whether you are clamping them off or allowing pressure to uh, that has maybe this line's been charged allowing pressure through this line is as you start to want to release this mechan or the the leverage off of the handle what's going to happen is it has the capability to flip up if you're standing over top of or leaning over top of without utilizing that stiff arm technique it can catch you in the jaw <clears throat> so keep in mind place the clamp apply downward force using straight arm technique 